Yo guys, welcome back to Undefeated Locals. It's the boys, Marvin and Edgar. Y'all already know what we're talking about today. UVS Games finally brought us some pretty good news, right? Yeah, we so we got the ban list uh, and errata. Yeah. Uh, and they, they actually hit quite a few things, and, yeah. I, and not the worst way they possibly could have. 100%. I do believe that this has quite possibly been the best like designed ban and errata update that we've seen so far in this card game. So let's get right into it. Let's show you guys what's going on, and we'll talk about our personal opinions as we go through it. Yeah, so right off the top, the biggest boogeyman in the room, yeah, uh, Mop Strike. This card was in every deck. It sure was. Enhance, discard a card, your opponent randomly discards a card, and you both draw one. What an absolutely devastating effect, right? Mm -hmm. You're all, it's already so hard to sculpt a good defensive hand against some of these characters utilizing this, namely Younger Togoro, and made even harder by him just ripping your high block for free. Yeah, and not to mention it was also it was a loot one draw one, effectively yeah. giving you two cards. You know. Yeah, two cards just right off the top of your deck. Desperation three for like no reason at yeah. all if you missed him. Um, yeah, this is a card that I can. It was like the easiest hit in the world, right? Yeah. This was just a free ban, and I'm glad UBS Games saw it that way easiest thing to hit on the planet they went into a lot of detail about like what they and, and they admitted to the what we thought was always what we've said in our previous videos and our previous posts they admitted to the fact that they paid too much attention to what it was in a previous format right yeah. mob strike was not as egregious back then as it is today and i'm glad that they you know showed us the the design philosophy that they had intended with this card um, but yeah, overall, glad it's dead. Yeah. Biggest hit on this one is probably, like, Botan herself, right? Like, maybe we could have made this a Botan-only enhance. Yeah. And, and it could have lived somewhere, but I'm Ar sure... Arada-ing Arada this was probably a lot more work. Yeah, than yep, just than just... Like yeah, it. yep, exactly. Um, yeah, they definitely took the easy way out, which is totally fine with a... As powerful of a card as this one yeah. is. Moving on, we have the Arada list. So, right off the top, the one that everyone wanted. <laughs> <laughs> uh, younger Togoro is dead. Yeah, it's yeah, not really. I know. Uh, so uh, his enhance is no longer free. His enhance has gone from your attack gets plus X damage to enhance commit one foundation. Your attack gets plus X damage, um, making his early game a lot more difficult. But kind of leaving him where he was at in the mid to late game. Yeah, for sure. Really, really making it actually thematic, right? Where this mm -hmm. character is growing in power across several turns. Which is, again, just way more thematic than just dump damage as much as possible. Yeah. Uh, you will... It is so unlikely to get turn two by this character anymore, right? Yeah. Where it was very, very possible before. I don't see it ever happening now, which is great. It's, it is a huge cost. Turns like two through four, right? Yeah. Commit one for every damage pump you want is crazy since we only get to build one per turn cycle anyway. Yeah, luckily, I, I I think he... I don't think he's dead. I, I think a lot of our community is going to fall off of him because, like, Endeavor's just the easier game plan now. Yeah. Um, but I, I do think uh, in the right hands, with the right deck, I think he's still going to be just as dangerous. So we'll I'm see. in complete agreement with you. He gains, like, a lot of tempo now, right? You can actually... Mm -hmm. Uh, you had said it earlier at Locals, like, there's actual decisions to make in the deck yeah. building process with him now, which is exactly where we want to be with every character in our card game. Yeah. Uh, already people are doing interesting things, using the Anasa 3 diff as, yeah. like, their commit cost. You can do a lot of fun things, this character is still highly, highly competitive, but, yeah, I'm sure y'all will just <laughs> fall off. Yeah. Uh, next up. Uh, so the dream is dead, right? <laughs> yeah. There is no more Christmas dreamland, guys. Stop talking to me about Token 4. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. Um, yeah. This, uh, this card has been eroded, right? Mm -hmm. To, uh, say, uh, only printed abilities on your character card. So now the new Toga can no longer copy herself and then copy Manetta and then copy Younger Tokoro for y'all's Christmas dreamland of shoving four cards into my card pool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, I, I mean, all in all, this is kind of what the spirit of the card was about. I'm super glad this card just didn't take a ban for her, yeah, right? I'm yeah. very, very happy that this card can still see the cool, unique effects 
like I've seen like the the Deku's of the world jamming this into their deck, you know, mm -hmm. that's very neat. Um, and that's exactly where this card should be. It, yeah, exactly. Uh, next up, this is uh, the rest of this is just kind of housekeeping. Typos. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So here on tuning in, we got uh, instead of saying charged, it's charged. Charge. You know, <laughs> uh, simple, simple errata there. Zero satellites. Uh, it's now naming cards in your card pool. Not. Uh, instead of name your card pool. <laughs> yeah. uh, name your card pool sounds like a way better <laughs> ability, bro. What? Uh, uh, this guy gives plus to your check instead of minus or yeah, whatever. No, no, yeah, it's uh, your that block gets minus two. Block <laughs> yeah. modifier gets minus two instead of plus two. <laughs> yeah. This is no longer a dead card. Yeah, this is no longer a detriment chapter. <laughs> uh, and, and that's kind of it for now. Uh, overall, this was like huge. Uh, the 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 Toguro Rada much deserved, I believe. Yeah, uh, I agree. He was definitely a problem. I'm still going to be running him, guys. Like, I I still think he's got legs to stand on, especially with girl power coming in with so many cool new new mechanics to just really mess with your opponent. Uh, so I I think if if you like the game plan with him, stick to him. I think he's actually getting better. Yeah, yeah, you're getting like both like. Better and worse mob strike with tail slitter, right? Yeah. They add it to their card pool instead of randomly discarding. There's a lot of cool things happening with Togoro. And like look at his other symbols, right? Uh, yeah. we were again discussing this at locals just a couple hours ago. How I believe the all symbol gain actually gained from this rather than lost mm -hmm. in it. Because the all like the all throws Togoro, this is exactly what he wanted, right? Was like yeah. a more tempoed game. And now he can't just get blown out by the death mirror match, which mm -hmm. is super sick. That's cool that he won't just auto lose to that anymore. Yeah. Uh, on top of that, Mop Shrek being gone, like that, that's so like so good. The huge hit to so many decks. Absolutely. But... I personally don't think like we we've discussed this in our previous videos. We've discussed this a lot um, in person. Edgar and I were never really on the train for like hit Togoro. I think that guy was actually fine. I think it was the cards that he was given. Yeah. Namely, Mop Strike, right? Yeah. How can I sculpt against a character that's trying to go for my entire life total on turn two mm -hmm. when he randomly discards the cool high block that I held? Yeah. Um, but yeah, overall, such a good ban and errata list. Uh, UVS Games, you absolutely blew it out of the park. No matter like the ifs, ands, or buts, like, I'm glad that you guys stuck with the decisions that you stuck with. And truly fixed the format like in a pretty good amount of time right yeah. like yeah uh like and then, like going into season two uh we're definitely going to need to see some more happening because I'm, I'm, I'm seeing some things in girl power that are getting wild right yeah <laughs> yeah know? for sure <laughs> girl power has like a lot more like support cards than everybody seems to think that it does that are like really really pushed the characters may not be as good we haven't really talked about this set very much because the characters are probably the most uninteresting thing to happen in universes in a very long time but the back page there's so many cards that are just absolutely blowing things out of the water amajiki with black abyss is just unfair yeah. that card yeah. should not exist with amajiki so ubs games watch amajiki let's collect that data yeah let's see what's up with that guy giving him another freaking momentum out exactly but, um yeah uh any closing thoughts here uh no i'm I, like i said i'm gonna be testing out there i hope you guys join us uh there's going into girl power and, and godzilla right around the corner oh uh, yeah uh, there's a lot of really cool things happening in season two so we're gonna be testing like crazy rodon's the new king baby <laughs> just took down locals with that guy that guy's sick yeah yeah a lot of, a lot of fun stuff we're gonna be releasing girl power videos here soon we promise we're still gonna do like our normal uh draft tier list uh hint they're all garbage <laughs> Preview spoiler. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but we're still going to do that. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, at least uh, all garbage together. Yes, true, true. A lot of fun stuff in Girl Power, and then we'll be rocking it with Godzilla content. We'll announce another giveaway here soon. We're going to be giving away another whole set of the Godzilla decks. These decks are probably the best product UBS Games has released since I've started the game. Honestly, yeah. everything in those sets is like those decks. I imagine are just dope right out of the box, which is very cool. Yeah. Uh, so look forward to that. We'll be making it soon. Hope you join us. Peace. Peace.